So why do you think Kafka especially? Why is that so much used in this space? Um, I, because, you know, it, it's funny, you know, Kafka has been around since like 2011. Um, but it's really has um, really matured and grown as as more and more people need to move data from from process to process, from department to department. Um, and it's just become a really great way to publish different feeds from, you know, from all, you know, you got 20 microservices, 100 microservices, what have you. And if, if, if you're going to try to, you know, connect them to Splunk for security and collect them to Grafana for, you know, uh, you know, for your developers to look at. And then you're also going to need it to write a transaction log. So you're, you know, all the different things that it has to, you know, and then you're going to try to manage uh, 20 different microservices doing all 20 of, you know, that becomes, <clears throat> that's three connections. So that's 60 connections you suddenly have to take care of, or you can just have it all send to Kafka And then, you know, so you, 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 you get rid of the, the spaghetti, you know, the spaghetti connections on your, on your chart, everything just flows nicely through Kafka, which will replicate it for you. It will keep track of it for you. So yeah, there's, I mean, that's, that's been the uh, original benefit of, of Kafka and, you know, Kafka streaming. It, it's, you know, if, if you need something a little bit more than a message queue, you know, it, it, it's kind of nice, a nice utility tool for for getting data from one end to the other um but you know in a safe and secure way yeah i always liked the thing that or the the fact that when you had processing then in the back and that processing had problems you could actually use it as a buffer right the data doesn't get yes lost yeah. you can yeah. just continue where you left off Yes, you yeah. can have a bit of a lag in the consumer and you need to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a little bit of a database. It's a little bit of a streaming thing. It's, it's yeah, it, it's kind of a nice hybrid combination of those two. So if if something does go wrong, Kafka will hold your data for you. Or, you know, if, you know, if, if things start getting really busy, it can be a very nice buffer to, you know, while, while you either spin up more consumers to help catch up or, yeah, there's a bunch of, of nice built-in, uh, you know, functionality that makes it kind of ideal for, for moving big, big, massive amounts of data 